All right, we're back again. We're gonna set up the tripod and we're gonna start with this part right here. This is called the plate or the tripod mount or whatever you want to call it for the camera. So this part would go onto here, which is the camera. There is a little mini thread right here, which is for this screw. So we line it up. As you can see, it's already lined up in there. And we'll screw it, twist it to the right, and it'll begin to lock it in place. We'll tighten it. We will adjust it so it is level when we mount it to the actual tripod, like so. Careful not to tighten it too much, or else you'll end up stripping the threads on the screw. We'll set this thing first. This is the tripod, the part where you're going to be mounting the camera onto. So, as you can see with the legs, they can stay like this, which is easy for storage. If you want to set it up so it can stand, you push that piece, you push that piece down. Yeah, this. We'll set up like this. Do not want to hit anything. All right, cool. Here we have the camera. We can set it up like this, but then all this stuff would be in the way. So we'll twist this, lift this up, and we'll set it up like this. Sometimes it will not stay in, sometimes it will not slide into place. So you can simply just turn it around. Here we have the mount, uh, the mount screw. I am not sure what this is called, but you see twisting this to the left makes this much looser and it makes it prone to swiveling around or just ruining your whole experience with filming. So you twist this to the right and it will lock it in place. But you see it's not that level, so I will unscrew it and tighten it again. So now that it's level and in, the, and in the same position I want it in, we can move over to the features that this tripod has. With this, this is the handle. This is where you'll be doing most of the work with this tripod. So if we move this little, this little stick here, we move it down and this makes it a lot more resistant for moving it to the up and down. If we twist this up, it decreases the resistance, so the friction is way lower, makes it easier to move up and down. The same principle applies with this little knob here. This controls the swivel. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to fairly easy to swivel left and right. If we twist this to more to the left, we can it makes swiveling this a lot easier. It decreases its friction. If we twist it to the right, it's got a lot of given that. It makes it a lot more resistant. Thank you, it makes it a lot more tighter to move. If you notice over here, there's this little white piece right here. This little bubble is called a spirit meter, as I would like to call it. This measures if the whole tripod is level or not. So if we move that to the, if we lean this over, we can see that bubble start to move. It's more, it's more ideal for it to be in the middle as that indicates that the whole tripod is level and center. So there's no difficulties when filming or alignment issues when you're taking pictures or whatever. But you can solve that but just by moving this around anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal. If you want to make the tripod sit higher, well, that's one of them. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, but I'm not that bothered. We have these, these are the legs of the tripod, so if we unscrew this right here, this extends it, followed by this one as well. These two, all these extend, and you can make the tripod sit higher or lower. So we will put them back. As you can see, this one leg was out because this one at the bottom was loose. So if we twist that, it will lock in place and it will not move. The same applies for this one as well. We will grab it and lift it up. And then we will twist it to the right to lock it in place so it does not move anymore. As you can see, it's not moving. We will come back here and we will be taking the camera off the tripod, dismounting it. So we will grab this piece and twist it to the left 
as you can see, as soon as I just loosened it, the camera is already sliding side to side on the mounting plate, which is fine. I'm going to twist this back around. And this square is what releases the plate from the tripod mount. And now, it's just the plate and the camera. We will twist this screw to the left and it will begin to loosen it. As you can see, it's already off. So, with this off and away from the camera, we can set this down and come back to the tripod. We slide this back in place, push the squares so we can mount in place. And if you want, we can twist this little tighter right here. Keep it in place. Come back to the tripod as a whole. Push this piece in. The whole thing is now collapsed. We can set it down. And that's how you mount the camera to the tripod, mount the plate, take it off the tripod, and all of that. And that's all.